We spoke last in March at the Abundance Summit. Your prediction was that AI was increasing at a rate as fast as 100 times per year, and that by 2029 or 2030, we might see AI as capable as 8 billion humans. Are you still seeing that pace? Yeah, I mean, it's, been, it's, difficult, it's a difficult thing to quantify exactly, but um, I certainly feel comfortable saying that it's getting 10 times better per year, which is, you know, let's say it's, you know, four years from now, that would mean 10,000 times better. So maybe 100,000. Yeah. And it's, 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 it, it, I think it will be able to do anything that any human can do. Um, possibly within, within the next uh, year, year or two. And then, uh, then it's what, what can it, how long, how much longer than that does it take to, to be able to do what, what all humans can do combined? I think not, not long, probably only. I don't know, three years from that point. So it like 20, 2029 is 28, something like that. The other conversation we've had, and you came out in the same side as Jeffrey Hinton in this, was 80% of probability it's going to be awesome. 20% probability we're yes. screwed. Are you still, are you still on yeah. those odds? Yeah, I mean, one could say it's 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 most likely going to be great, and there's there's some chance, which could be ten to twenty percent, that um, it goes bad. Um, the chance is not zero that it goes bad, but overall, one one could say that the cup is eighty percent full uh, is one positive way to look at it. Maybe ninety percent. Both rates have been collapsing pretty much worldwide, um, and we're headed to. You know, a situation where, for example, based on current birth rates, uh, South Korea would have about a third of its current population, perhaps much less. Um, Europe would have about half of its current current population, perhaps much less. And I should say that those numbers are if the birth rate were suddenly to return to stable to to 2.1 per woman, which is a stability point, um, which it is it's not doing. So, if the if if, if the current compounding uh, effect continues, um, you would see really um, many countries become 5% of their current size or less within three generations. I know you've been so doing your... I, I would consider that to be a very big, very big problem. Um, mm. and, and I think if for most countries, they should view the birth rate as, as the single biggest problem they need to solve. Um, I mean, if you don't make new humans, there's no humanity. And, and all the policies in the world don't matter. Hmm. I know you've um, been doing your part to maintain the birth rate in, in the U.S. Yes, I am. I mean, I, you know, it's, you've got to walk the talk. Um, so I do have a lot of kids, and I encourage others to have lots of kids. I think we'll be able, we'll be able to launch uh, some starships to Mars in two years. Um, so at the, the, the next uh, Mars window, which is in about 26, 27 months, but we're, we're just about to start, uh, or we're, we're at the beginning of, of a Mars transit window now, and they occur every 26 months. So um, just over two years, we'll be sending our first uncrewed starships to Mars. And then if those, if those work out well, and we, we don't increment the crater accounts on Mars, then we'll send humans uh, two years after that. Every country will have uh, AIs or multiple AIs. So, um, and there will be a lot of robots. There'll be a lot of robots. Like, uh, uh, but we had way the more robots than people. Yeah, let's have that conversation in a second because people are concerned about, uh, as you said, dwindling populations. AI and, and robots have the potential to help support the GDP. Um, Yes. Congratulations on Optimus 2 and soon Optimus 3. Uh, your prediction on the number of robots by 2040, humanoid robots to be specific, what order of magnitude? By 2040? Yeah. So, 
Um, I think by 20, if you say like 2040, probably there are more humanoid robots than there are people. 